It's time for Riff Tracks, Riff Tracks! Yes, I know I can't sing as well as Jonathan Colton, but my name is Maniac and my website is GameAccess.net. I want to thank Riff Tracks for actually allowing me to do this video. I am a huge fan of their website and also all of the Riff Tracks live shows that they've been showing in my local cinemas. In fact, they've done quite a few really funny ones this past year that I really appreciated. So, for those of you who don't know about what Rift Tracks is, it was developed by the guys who made Mystery Science Theater 3000, and it basically provides audio commentary for really bad movies and really bad educational shorts. And in some cases, just can make these things bearable. Now, you're probably going to ask yourself, how do, I, how do I get these shorts, or what do I do if I can download these videos or these audio tracks? Well, let me tell you something. If you're a longtime Rift Tracks fan and you've already purchased Rift Tracks audio tracks and you don't like having to constantly have to go back and forth between syncing the audio tracks and resetting your movie, there's actually a great app for smartphones and tablets that Rift Tracks has provided within the last couple of months. And I have actually mastered this app and I have a couple of tips that I'd like to share with you guys about it. So what do you say I show you guys my best tips for getting the best out of the Rift Tracks app? Now the first things first, you're going to have to download the official Rift Tracks app to your smart device, either your smartphone or your tablet. The app is free and it can be downloaded on either the Google Play Store or Apple's official App Store. It's only about 25 megs and it's free to download on its own. Now here's my first tip. Buy all your purchases directly from RiftTracks.com. While it is possible to make purchases directly from the Rift Tracks app, Rift Tracks is really good at offering deals and discounts, especially around this time of year, on their website. Those deals do not apply to any purchases made directly on the app. You'll be paying full price for them every time. Also, Rift Tracks can actually make the most money monetarily in compensation through your purchase. If you purchase it through either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, you may end up giving a small contribution to either Google or Apple, depending upon what device you're using. If you buy from RiftTracks.com, RiftTracks will get all of the money, and trust me, they deserve it. This is just a brief list of all of the available Rifts that you can actually get on the RiftTracks app. Okay, so you've signed up for a RiftTracks.com account. You've downloaded the official RiftTracks app to your smartphone. You've made purchases for Rift Tracks audio commentaries that are compatible with the Rift Tracks app. What do you do now? Well, you're going to need probably something to play the original movies on, and these will, I think these will do the trick. Once you've purchased something through the Rift Tracks app or on RiftTracks.com, you'll be able to find it in your official library. From there, you'll have to download the audio commentary file directly to your device. You'll see a download icon right on the bottom of the screen once you've selected it from your library. Hit download. Make sure your device has enough free space before you attempt a download like this. But once it's downloaded to your device, it's there. You can do this offline. The official Rift Tracks app will sync with any video source that you can possibly throw at it, whether it be a Blu ray or a DVD an iTunes version through your Apple TV, Netflix, or video on demand through your local cable provider. I've tried all of these sources and they all work. However, my recommendation is use either video on demand or your Blu-ray first off. Use only DVD as a last resort. The reason why is, at least in my experience, because of the later transition in certain DVDs, there can be an occasional pause halfway through the movie. That can sometimes desync the audio with the commentary and make you have to sync it about halfway through. Since video on demand, streaming, and Blu-ray doesn't have that problem, you're not going to see that issue with those sources. Start your source movie and then hit the play button on the Rift Tracks app under your film. It'll immediately start attempting to sync with the movie file itself. My advice is once this happens to hold the smart device up to your speaker or your television so it can better sync with the film and start the jokes. Once you start hearing audio coming out of the smart device 
you'll know that it's properly synced up. The Rift Tracks app is not currently compatible with Bluetooth speakers. I know a lot of you guys may want to use Bluetooth devices wirelessly. You can't with this app right now, although I've been told support for that is coming. However, if you've got yourself a Bose dock like this one that's hardwired with a charge port for your device, I would recommend using that because those seem to work just fine. Just simply connect your device to the docking port and audio should start coming out of it no problem. You may need to regulate audio levels between the speaker and between your sound system or television, but you will eventually find a happy medium between the two. If you only have access to wireless Bluetooth speakers and don't have yourself a dock, you might be able to enlist the help of your Bluetooth speaker if your Bluetooth speaker is equipped with an auxiliary port. They usually are on the back of the unit near the charge port, and as you can see, it's, right, it's located right there, at least underneath this device's charger. See it's marked auxiliary in. If you get yourself a regular plain old audio auxiliary cable, you can connect this port here to the headphone jack of your smart device. If you don't have a smart device, like let's say for example you have an iPhone 7 which does not have a headphone jack, you're probably going to need your headphone jack to lightning adapter in order to make this connection work. But a hardwire connection like this between your smart device and between your Bluetooth speaker should be able to output Riftrax audio no problem. So those are just some of my ideas for how to get the best out of your Riftrax app and maybe the best out of your Riftrax experience. I want to thank the people at Riftrax for allowing me to do this video. You guys are great. I love your shows. And I want to thank all of you guys for watching. Until next time guys, my name is Maniac with GameAccess.net. Happy Holidays. Till next time, over and out.